Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you guys on how to use uh, the WordPress for editing your website. So um, let me show you guys uh, a basic step-by-step uh, -step tutorial on how to uh, add a theme and how to uh, edit the menus menus, and uh, how to add add inserter and uh, publish ads and ads on your website. So this is the most requested uh, video on my uh, group so I'm going to uh, post it here so you can see here so just go to appearance and click on theme so this is where we are going to uh, select the theme which is going to use so these are some basic themes which is on default you want to get this theme on your website so um, you can see here uh, color mag 2015 2017 all these themes are pretty basic and uh, mostly I go for the color mag because it's uh, easy to optimize and um, it's easy it's, it's pretty much the drag and drop uh, so go for this one, the color mag, and click on activate. So it's already activated on my side. I don't have to click on that. So once you have the theme, uh, there are certain uh, options you can do turn it off, turn off. So mostly I don't have comments on my website because of uh, spam comments. So mostly if you have a good, um, like if you have a niche site, you get a lot of spam comments. Uh, so like people try to promote their affiliate office on your website, or as a, they try to promote their website on your website, like uh, putting a link. So pretty much. I have an option where I have to uh, manually approve the comments. So uh, go to the settings here and go to general. So uh, you need to click on writing. So let me click on writing. Sorry, discussion. Sorry. So uh, you can see the comment must be manually approved. Just check on this box. So uh, every time you get a comment, uh, you're going to get a notification on inside your WordPress and uh, you can um, uh, manually approve each comment. Uh, so mostly I only I only approve comments which has no links on it. So if there's a link inside a comment, then mostly I won't approve it because they're trying to get visitors uh, or is they're trying to promote some uh, information product or uh, some product to their customers. Uh. So <coughs> I don't do that. So you can also moderate your comments like uh, you can put in some words. Uh, you know, like uh, you can moderate them, like um, uh, you can copy paste some bad words from the internet and put it here. Just mostly, uh, if someone types or try to type those words inside your WordPress, then those words will automatically spam the which um, uh, is as spam inside your uh, uh, website, and it automatically moderates. So those ads, sorry, those comments won't appear on your blog. So you can do that and comment blacklist. You can also blacklist the email or IP address if you are constantly getting uh, uh, comments from a certain IP. Just go for it and uh, just type the IP here and it's automatically going to block the uh, comments here. So um, pretty much that's it guys. This is how you need to uh, moderate your comments. So let me also show you guys on how to use uh, the plugin section. So what are the plugins I have inside my website. So these are the main plugins I have. I have a Google Analytics which I use a lot because I need to know that my visits are uh, bouncing and that I that they um, they're not um, that they're clicking. So uh, so pretty much you get a lot of reports inside Google Analytics and uh, so all in one W migration it's a uh, import tool where you can export your website and input it on a different website. So it's going to copy all the settings and all the articles from one site to another site. So I use them a lot for safety purposes. So I, I export and I keep it as a backup inside my website. So you can also uh, back it up with your hosting provider, but I used to do, I used to do it with, with my uh, computer manually. And add inserter. So add inserter is what I use on all my sites um, to insert the ad from AdSense. So um, add inserter is highly suggested. It has good review and uh, it works perfectly well. So it, it's a free tool. You don't have to pay for anything. They do have some um, uh, pro version, I think, I'm not sure. Um, go ahead and um, check out the website, so you can also get the, the you can also get the pro version. So I have Google XML sitemaps, and uh, I have some uh, doc converter because I used to uh, write my own articles. So uh, every time I get an article, I uh, upload it inside this converter, and uh, I publish inside my website. So it, it's very really help, helpful, so you don't have to copy paste to pretty much everything. So uh, WordPress importer and uh, file manager. I use file managers too, um, so I don't have to log into my um, hosting networks to see what are the files and data files are. 
So let me show you guys on where I get my um, articles from. Uh, so uh, I uh, have a lot of websites I used to uh, work with. Uh, let me type for word agent. So it's a content creating company that um, most of my articles are written from this website. So you can see uh, how it works. Uh, so you need to order a web, uh, you need to order content from this website, and they're going to write your content, and they're going to charge you some money for mostly for blog articles. They're going to charge you like uh, five dollars to uh, ten dollars per article. So you totally want to depend on how many words you want inside the uh, article. So on most of my sites, I have eight hundred plus article, eight hundred plus words on each article. So it's highly suggested. Uh, always go for eight hundred plus article, uh, eight hundred plus words article. Don't try to. Uh, or some articles for 300, 300 words because uh, it's not going to get you a lot of money from AdSense. So you see there, you need to contact the contact support and uh, pretty much you're going to get a reply to your email and they're going to chat and they're going to ask you for your requirements. And they're going to take some time to write your articles. Like mostly I do like uh, 10 to 20 articles per, per month from this website. And I, so uh, they're going to take at least uh, 10 days to write articles. So this site, and uh, you can also hire some content writers from Fiverr, Upwork, and uh, uh, other sources. Uh, I don't use PH uh, because um, the content quality won't be good with PH sites. So I always go with these type of sites. And uh, let me go back to the WordPress and. Uh, So the important pages inside um, each website. So let me show you guys what the pages we have. So about us, disclaimer and privacy policy and cookie policy, terms and conditions. So these are the pages you need to have. So at least try to have these three pages: privacy policy, about us, and terms and conditions, which are very very important because uh, those ads bot might pick you and uh, they might demonetize your chat and demonetize your um, uh, website for not having those pages. Uh, so it's not worth it. So you can, um, there are a lot of uh, content writers out there selling uh, these type of uh, pages for you for like uh, two, three dollars. Just go for it and uh, get it from them and just publish it here because it's not worth it. So, um, I do use uh, these features like uh, remove feature image because I want to have my own image there. Like, uh, if you have a feature image, then it's going to, uh, uh, it's not going to appear on. Um, add in setter so I don't like doing that so uh, I always go for uh, the uh, remove feature images and I have my own image inside the article so uh, pretty much that's it guys these are the basic settings you need to have on place to uh, uh, get your website live so you can see uh, so it's going up your bandwidth it's going to appear on your dashboard of your WordPress and pretty much everything is pretty common and that's it guys I'll see you guys in the next video